Spaghetti and meatballs is one dish that everyone used to eat as a child. Today I'm creating homemade meatballs with turkey sausage. The flavors of these meatballs will keep everybody coming back for more. Here's a quick look at the ingredients that I'll be using to create this recipe. For my ingredients, I'll be using chicken bouillon, black pepper, onion powder, grated Parmesan cheese, shredded Parmesan cheese, Worcestershire sauce, and for my fresh vegetables, I'll be using parsley, garlic, and green onions. Next, we're gonna add some breadcrumbs, sour cream, milk, and one egg. Let me give y'all a closer look, and with my hands, I'm gonna get in here and combine all these ingredients. Now that your meatballs are mixed well, you want to start forming your balls. Make sure they're around the size of a golf ball and then place them in your separate container. If you're still watching my video and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button Tap your notification bell so my channel can notify you on upcoming recipes. And if you want me to do any recipes on my channel, just let me know in the comment box below. And don't forget to hit your like button. Let's get back into the video. In a separate pan, you want to place in some oil and let your pan heat up. Then you're going to place in at least six meatballs without overcrowding them in your pan. You're going to brown each side of your meatball for at least two to three minutes. We're not fully cooking these meatballs all the way through. We're just browning them on each side. And once they finish browning, we're going to remove them from the pan. This is what the meatballs look like after we finish browning them. In a large pot of boiling water, add in some salt and oil, then place in your spaghetti and let them cook down until they are no longer sticking out the pot. Then you want to mix the pasta around to prevent the pasta from sticking to one another. Then 
In the same pan where I cook my meatballs, I'm adding in some ragu sauce. I'm gonna mix the ragu around before placing in my meatballs. Next, let's add our meatballs back in the pan and let them cook in our tomato sauce. We wanna let them cook on a medium to low heat for about 20 minutes. Now I'm just rotating my meatballs in the pasta sauce to make sure that my meatballs get cooked evenly all the way through. Now that my pasta is finished cooking, I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to my bowl along with my meatballs and pasta sauce. Let me go ahead and clean that excess pasta sauce that dripped around my bowl. Next, I'm sprinkling on some shredded Parmesan cheese and some green onions. And now our spaghetti and meatballs are complete. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Wait, 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 let's be more realistic. Just share my channel with at least one or two people. Bye.